Okay, so this is Relax Teams, Team Central Jersey. We meet every Wednesday at 8 a.m. Everyone is welcome to join. Feel free to join and uh, meet uh, individuals or organization. You don't need to become a member to visit. You can visit at any time. Just go to Relax Teams slash CNJ Central New Jersey. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to give a, uh, a couple um, testimonials and people who have had some one-on-one -on -one meetings this week. So we will start it off with Paul. Paul, go ahead, sir. Yeah, thanks. Um, so I had a great lunch with Danelle and Tim. Um, it was funny. Tim came over because, you know, I don't think we've ever met. I was like, oh, in person. You're right. We haven't. I mean, just the connection that the group has. It was great to to see him and spend time with both of them. And it was, I had a great time. Got to learn a lot more about them. And that was great. Excellent. Very good. And uh, Rochelle, do you want to go ahead next? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> uh, good morning, everybody. I had a good one-on-one -on -one this week with Wendy. We met virtually. We had a great meeting. We talked a little bit more uh, about each of our businesses, but also a little bit about our families. We got to know each other a little bit more that way, too. So it was a great meeting. Thank you, Wendy. Excellent. And uh, next up, uh, Danelle, you want to talk about? <laughs> Well, I enjoyed the food, um, but it was really good to learn more about each person and what they're kind of looking for in their business, because it's hard to refer people if you don't really understand what people do. So I really enjoyed that part. Excellent. Wendy. As Rochelle said, we met yesterday virtually and uh, got to know each other a little bit better. And I think I got a better understanding of what her business is. So we will definitely be working together in the future. So thanks for that, Rochelle. Perfect. And then Lance, go ahead. You had a shout out and then, then you had some one-on-one? Yeah. yeah, since you mentioned the shout out first, I'll go there. Um, had a fantastic session with, with Rochelle. Um, I had some lower back, uh, or still have, you know, having some lower back issues. So the first session with her, I walked out of there. I was like, this is the best I felt in a long time. And I would say it, that one session rolled up it felt better than all of the other chiropractor appointments I've ever had combined. So awesome. I know, awesome. I know that feeling, Lance. Yeah. Michelle's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, yeah. And I had lunch with Candido just yesterday. We met in Somerville and I was like, Candido has been somebody who's always impressed me and meeting with him in person just reinforced how much I was impressed with him. Um, one of the things that I picked up about Candido was that like, he's a really, really well skilled listener. And I always try and listen. So I was aware of the fact that he was letting me do most of the talking and I was aware of it, but we were having such a great conversation. I was really impressed. Um, great, great job. And a uh, great meeting with Candido. Excellent. And Candido, you want to um, share about your one-on-ones? You're muted, muted Candido. Yeah, so yeah, with Lance, uh, he took me to this uh, Thai, uh, Thai French fusion restaurant. So I was, I was hungry. So that's why he was, uh, I was letting him do all the talking. I was, uh, I was enjoying the food. So, uh, but it was a great one on one. Uh, learned a, a lot about more about Lance and, and, his, and, and what he does in real estate. Um, last week I met with Richard. It was a very in depth uh, conversation. Also, learned um, how. It brings this uh, this uh, workplace benefits into in, in place, so you know to help individuals in the workplace, but also with Sue. And I have a shout out. She gave me some of her um, nail polish, and I had a dance, a father daughter dance of last week. And uh, my wife used them, and it was uh, it was like magic. My my daughter, she's six. She was, you know, she had a blast. She was very happy, and uh, it's really really easy to use. So it was uh, it, it was a great great add-on for her and uh, with Maggie also we talk a lot we talk a lot about um, the you know how, how we help how we help clients and 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 learn more about the type of client she likes to serve and and how and, and the services she can provide to each one of them but it was uh, it was great like uh, you know get to know them better and get to know their business way way better awesome and Maggie you want to talk I so you had the one uh, yes, good morning, everyone. Yes, I had a really good meeting with Candido. Um, yesterday, we met over Zoom. And I have to tell you, Candido, with what he does, um, he is such an amazing guy. He, I felt very comfortable sharing all my financial 
uh, I haven't shared yesterday, but but you know we um, we have planned we, to meet and and sort of work together with Candido. In, and he makes you feel um, he listens. He makes you feel very comfortable. He's very knowledgeable. So I'm very happy to start a relationship with Candido. I would highly highly recommend him. Excellent. And then uh, Jessica, you had a shout out you wanted to give out. Yes. Good morning. <clears throat> I have a shout out um, for George. Uh, George and I had a great um, educational workshop at the YMCA last week. Um, it was a good turnout. Um, it, it was just great. And it was very easy to work with George. He had a great presentation. I think uh, the seniors enjoyed that very, very much. So that was great, George. Thank you. And I also want to thank um Relax teams because I got a referral through you guys, um, and we are um, we were able to help the family um, not directly with my services, but I was able to connect them with the right um, the right uh, sources uh, resources, and they're going to be taken care of. Uh, thanks so much. That was actually very great. Excellent. Very good. Very good. And with that, we will turn over uh, the mic to our featured presenter today, which is Tracy. Tracy, you wanna, uh, you, you, you should be free to share screen and do what you want. We have until um, 8.23. Okay, great. Uh, well, good morning, everybody. I'm Tracy Spiaggia with Slingshot Health Coaching. Um, as a functional nutrition and lifestyle practitioner and uh, brain health specialist and um, National Board Certified Health and Wellness Coach. I work with individuals and families who are struggling with all types of mental health challenges. And as you can imagine, um, you know, business is bursting at the seams, which is a blessing for me in that I get to help so many people, but also um, it's, a little, it's a little disheartening to know so many are struggling. Today, I decided to do a small portion of a very large presentation that I've given in the past, um, appreciating that um, our thought life, our beliefs, the stories we tell ourselves and the stories we live from really undergird every decision and choice we make every day, which those choices compound over time and really create the life that we're living. So it's really the best place to start when trying to understand um, who you are, why you are, where you are, how it is that you ended up a little bit stuck and how can you uh, reverse engineer your way to a better to a better life. So let me just minimize this. Okay. So, you know, you start off with behavior. Behavior is quite complicated. Um, you know, brain health is critical to a well-lived life. Um, and never before in recorded human history have we experienced a mental health crisis like we're experiencing today. Um, and there's just so many variables that are at play when we're talking about the health of the brain. And these are just literally just a, a, a like a small fraction of the possible drivers of a, of a brain that is struggling. Um, I always list diet at the top because it is absolutely by far um, the, the has the greatest impact on the functionality and the health of the brain in myriad ways, like speaking um, to nutrient deficiencies. If you're if someone is consuming the standard American diet, the impact of that on the microbiome and the function of the immune uh, immune system, sleep, exercise, infections, traumatic brain injury, toxicity. Um, you know, these are just some of the, the most common, but certainly the list is far from exhaustive. Okay, um, so everything begins with our thoughts, right? So I don't know if anybody's familiar with the term ants, automatic negative thoughts when we all can uh, slip into these kind of hamster wheel thought processes and we just continue to think on something that is fear-driven, something that is in some way uh, negative, and we start to carve out these grooves in our brains um, that cause us to really just, it's almost like um, when you're sinking in quicksand and the harder you struggle, the, the deeper you sink. Um, this is just the way the brain functions. Um, in order to affect lasting behavior change, we have to kind of lift the hood and we have to get to know ourselves well, understand why we think the way that we do, appreciate that every decision and be behavior choice we make is preceded by a thought. And therefore we need to prioritize an honest 
next examination of our thought life in order to manifest a better life that's filled with healthy relationships, not only to ourselves, but also to others. So the age old question, why do I do what I do? We're gonna go through a couple of uh, scenarios that kind of unpack um, the process of how I guide people to explore themselves, get to know themselves better and, and discover kind of root drivers to some stories and belief patterns that they hold. So um, do you find yourself asking this question maybe after you've done something undesirable um, for the umpteenth time? You know, I think it's safe to say that we all do. Um, it seems part of our DNA, but what if I told you that in part anyway, um, it is, uh, there is a generational component to who you are, why you do what you do, why you think the way that you think. Um, it's a nature nurture combination. So let's take a look at three scenarios. Uh, one, you've had a very stressful day. So you cozy up in your PJs with a warm brownie or delicious bowl of ice cream, because after all, you totally deserve that. Or your husband asks what, what you perceive to be a scrutinizing question about a charge on the credit card bill and you snap. And isn't he judging and micromanaging you? Uh, and then uh, your child has been isolating uh, more often and you lash out at her because you perceive that she's rejecting you by not wanting to spend as much time with you. So let's kind of unpack these. We're gonna unpack them by looking at the inner stories and beliefs um, that drive our, uh, the way that we respond to life stressors and the way that we can easily misinterpret an exchange with somebody. So here's our first scenario, right? We had a really long day at work and cannot wait to get home, hop in our favorite chair with all of our favorite comfort foods. And, um, you know, this is just what we do to kind of unplug and dissociate from the stress of our lives. So here's an example of a potential story for this particular woman who is um, sitting in the chair with the end of the day reward. Maybe she witnessed her mother work tirelessly in the home and her father never recognized, appreciate or praise her. Perhaps in defense of her mother, this caused her to make a toxic inner vow that she'll never work that hard without some kind of reward or recognition. And this all, of course, is happening on a subconscious level. Um, now, as an, an overworked adult, that inner vow informs her knee-jerk nightly decision to relax with some junk food, feeling entitled to it. Later on, though, she feels regret as she battles stomach issues and ine inevitable uh, creeping weight gain. Can you see how her story that was developed from childhood um, and created in defense of something bothersome to her is now not serving her well. It is not helping her and it's actually driving a disease process of some kind. Um, what might be a better story that she can tell herself? Again, this is um, part of a presentation that I do where I engage the audience. Um, so we would banter about what might be a better story she can tell herself about having worked a long, hard day and start to kind of um, rip up from the roots the more toxic inner vow and replace it with something that actually begins to build her a better life. Here's our second scenario. So your husband asks about, you know, what you experience to be a scrutinizing question about a charge on the credit card bill and you snap. Is he judging? Is he micromanaging? So let's take a look at a potential story that she's telling herself. Maybe she grew up in a home where money was tight, and as a result, she witnessed her parents argue a lot. Maybe her dad often questioned purchases her mom made, insisting that they weren't necessary. She'd see her mother shamed and angry. Being just a child and incapable of processing the stress in a healthy way, she unconsciously makes an inner vow that no man will ever tell her how she can spend her own money. Now, as a married woman, that toxic story is causing her to overreact to her husband's reasonable inquiry about a particular charge on the credit card. Again, what might have been a better story that she could tell herself and how could she go all the way back, journeying all the way back to her childhood and uncover uh, the route to the more toxic story she tells herself, walling herself up from her life partner and creating discord um, and relational strain between the two of them. And lastly, we have the child who isolates more often and the parent is experiencing that as rejection. So for this particular story, I, I take a look at uh, a book called The Five Love Languages. I would imagine many, if not all of you are familiar with that. And if you're not, I would highly encourage uh, you reading and applying the, the principles in the book. But it, it talks about the five ways that we all communicate and receive love, which um, they're, they're really currency exchanges. 
So some people prefer physical touch, some acts of service, words of affirmation and praise, gifts and time spent. So let's say this mom is a time spent currency person where she is unaware of this dominant love language. Naturally, when her daughter stops wanting to spend time with her, she feels rejected and unloved. And this causes a tremendous amount of pain for her. But the daughter, on the other hand, let's say she's a gifts currency. To her, spending time with people she loves isn't that high of a priority or a love language for her. Uh, receiving a special surprise gift is one way she'd receive love from her mom, not so much snuggling up on the couch for a, a good movie. Can you see how like the potential of their love language is clashing and them not being aware of this concept of, of love language can cause uh, strife in the relationship. And I, I liken it to being, um, you know, from the States vacationing over in Europe somewhere and trying to buy something with an American dollar where the, the uh, vendor only accepts the euro. So the transaction is unsuccessful. The person wants to purchase something from the other, but the other will not give it because the currency is, is not um, of their preference. So, you know, uh, tying this together from the vantage point of the story the mom is telling herself that perhaps her daughter doesn't love her anymore, she'd likely be saying to herself, all that I do for her, how could she possibly reject me like this? What more does she want from me? She, you know, she's hurt. So she lashes out at her daughter. And the daughter, having no understanding of why her mom is reacting so harshly, tells herself a similar inner story. Doesn't she know how exhausted I am from school and sports and clubs? Is it so wrong to want to spend a little time on my social media with my friends so I can relax? a little bit. Why is she so needy? And round and round they go. You know, in the moment, uh, we all react and feel totally justified in the moment, right? But then it's always after the fact where we get out of our fear brain and we come back into our logic brain, where we uh, oftentimes feel the wave of remorse and shame because of the way that we responded to someone we love. So- Okay. So anyway, um, I'm going to kind of go through these uh, a little quicker. So, so today's presentation really, how does it relate to brain health? I'm speaking specifically to um, operating more from the frontal lobe and getting out of that fear brain. And the way to do that is to scrutinize your life, is to be brave, to partner with somebody like myself who has the skills to journey you back to your childhood and to uncover when you picked up certain beliefs and stories and help you see how you operate from those unhelpful stories today as an adult. And when we, um, when we reveal the traumas, when we review them from an honest standpoint, we can then reframe them to speak to ourselves more truthfully. We can rewrite the stories that we live from and the beliefs that undergird all of our choices. And by that, that's how we redeem not only the current life we're living, but we redeem the generational impact that we uh, manifest in our homes. And um, I've written a book um, that kind of unpacks this more deeply and um, points to some really helpful resources for a person to be brave enough to do the, the inner work. And anybody can find me at uh, slingshothc.com and on social media handles as well. Excellent. Any questions, anyone? Yeah, uh, Tracy, you, um, I'm going to guess you really didn't mention any real, uh, relationship between mental health and nutrition. And being that you are a nutrition coach, I'm guessing there is a connection. Oh, my goodness gracious. There's aside from the stories we tell ourselves and the relationships in our lives, that by far is the primary driver of a brain that begins to really struggle. But second to that is absolutely the food that we put in our mouth every day. It, I mean, we have to understand that our body and brains are built by the food that we consume. So if we have a brain that's really having a hard time performing the way we prefer it to, we, the first thing we got to look at is our relationships to self and others. And then the second thing we got to look at is what am I consuming each day that um, it's, I kind of liken it to if you hire the most amazing contractor and you're willing to pay triple the going rate because you know the, the uh, materials are going to be top quality, you're going to have an amazing outcome. But if you decide to like really 
do maybe a DIY and you go dumpster diving and you're picking out materials from, from like, you know, the curb or the dumpster and you try to cobble together your project with materials like that, you're not going to end up with something that is satisfying or that's really going to serve or meet your needs. And as far as the body and brain go, it's, we're, we're out there gathering the raw material and then the body is the contractor. So it only can build from the material that we give it. And so, yes, the food is absolutely critical. Excellent. Okay, Very great. good. Great job. Thank Thanks, you, Tracy. Everybody. Thank you. And put, make sure you put the link to your book. Oh, sure. Thank you. Excellent. And with that, I will kick everything off. My name is Dennis Harabin. I am the founder of Relax Tax. And what we do is we obsess with helping people to retain more of what they earn. The way we do that is by first um, getting to really understand the, the individual situation, whether it's a business owner or an individual. We focus on, in, in a business perspective, we're really focused on obtaining tax credits and understanding what we can do to improve the processes within the business. So retaining more of what you earn is not just about um, reducing your taxes. It's more about um, optimizing the way you go about through that flow. And tax is a critical aspect of the overall equation. But when we're done with the tax plan, we actually give you a financial plan as well that helps you tie it all together. And that's why we created teams so you can find the right professionals to help you execute. Next up, we have Desiree. Good morning, everyone. My name is Desiree Halleck and I'm the owner of Clarence Services, which is a digital marketing agency for startups and small businesses. And we teach our clients that you don't have to boil the ocean or have a million dollar budget to have an effective growth plan. And we help our clients with anything from um, content marketing, like blogging, social media, videos, and email marketing. Um, and we also do fractional CMO services. You can reach us at clarentservices.com. And next up is Paul. Thank you very much, Desiree. Good morning, everybody. Paul Tabern from Digital Maestro, where we harmonize your online strategy. What does that mean? Well, we take all the various things that happen online, and we kind of put them together and make them a little bit better. So that starts with your website. Uh, if you don't have one, it starts with your website. So we'll build your website and work with you so that you have that up um, and available so that people can find you online. And if you have a site, well, we can tweak things so that you get better visibility, uh, you get better engagement and people can connect with you. If you want the phone to ring, that'll happen. If you want people to give you your name and email address so you can follow up, that'll happen. Paul Taubin from Digital Maestro, again, where we harmonize your online strategy. Next up is Jake. Jake All right, Jake's not here, so we'll jump off to social media. Social media accounts can be a total pain. It's time consuming, distracting, and if you're not really good at it, you could ruin your reputation. But lack social media takes the stress off your shoulders and lets you focus on what your business does best. We ease your workload by providing high quality social media management services at an affordable price. Our all in one proprietary software streamlines and automates your process. We help you reach your audience with strategies that work to make sure your posts receiving the engagement they deserve. And you can get all of this in our Platform Plus package, starting at just $99 a month without any contracts. So relax. Stop doing things manually. Start today. Next up, we have George. Good morning, everyone. Uh, name of my company is Caring Transitions. Caring Transitions happens to be the nation's largest um, uh, senior relocation and state sale company. We run estate sales. Uh, we run auctions to help you liquidate your household belongings. So if you are selling your house, it needs to be cleared out of everything. And that's what we do. Uh, we'll run an estate sale to help you raise some money to cover your moving costs. And then anything that can't be sold or donated uh, or that the family doesn't want, we will clear out the house of, uh, so that the uh, real estate agent can get it on the market and get it sold. Next up is Danelle. Good morning, everyone. Danelle Bingle, Upbeat Dance and Fitness, which is a fun and supportive fitness community. We work with busy people 
who may have trouble maintaining a fitness and nutrition plan. A lot of my clients are people, parents who spend all their time taking care of other people and then <clears throat> kind of put themselves on the back burner. So uh, we help people to manage their health strategies, which then trickles down into their entire family. We help people build the life that they want for their family. Um, I'm looking for people who want to change their behavior long term. I'm not looking for people who want to lose 20 pounds in two weeks because that's just not what we do here. Um, Danelle Bingle, Upbeat Dance and Fitness, and Rochelle is next. Morning, I'm Rochelle DiCrescendo. I'm a physical therapist, and my practice is The Healing Journey, located in Clinton. I help people live a pain-free, active lifestyle without uh, pain medication, injections, or multiple trips to the doctor, and I do that using a modality called John Barnes Myofascial Release. And when we do this, it's a hands-on, holistic body work, and we really look at the whole person. So it's, your symptom never happens in isolation. It's never just a back pain, just a hip pain or whatever it is, there's, they've got to get to the root cause of it. And going along with what Tracy was just talking about, very often that root cause can date far back to something in childhood or to a belief system. So I really work with my patients to try to get to the bottom of what is going on so that they're able to do the things they love to do. You can find me at The Healing Journey, mfrpt.com, up next is Lance. Hey everybody, my name is Lance Dunn, and as people's lives change, so do their needs for housing, whether they're upsizing, downsizing, job transfer, first-time home buyer, you know, lifestyle change, whatever their needs are, I help people realize their real estate goals through the purchase and sales of real estate. I specialize in residential and light commercial property purchase, sales, and leasing, and my name is Lance Dunn with Keller Williams. Next is Jessica. Good morning, everyone. Um... I'm Jessica Dale, um, owner of A Place at Home, an in-home senior care serving the um, Somerset, Canada, Morris, and Union Counties. We provide customized in-home care based on the seniors needs. All our care plans are created by a qualified registered nurse and delivered by a compassionate team of caregivers. We also offer care coordination and senior living alternative, which is actually a free personalized service that helps seniors and families identify the senior care community that best fits their needs, um, whether it's independent, assisted, memory, or long-term care. If you or someone you need um, or you know needs in-home care, please send them my way, Jessica Dale, with our place at home. And next up is uh, Wendy. I'm sorry, Maggie. <laughs> uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Maggie Morris. I own Prim Bookkeeping. Um, I am located in Bridgewater, but with the virtual service, I can, I can help anyone in the United States. I offer bookkeeping and payroll services to small businesses. Um, with, and I specifically enjoy working with um, new businesses because I love, I do a lot of coaching and teaching as well. And um, I, I love going through the journey with people. Um, so you can reach me at my website is uh, primbookkeeping.com or you can reach me at maggie at primbookkeeping.com. And next up is Candido. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Candido Rodriguez. I'm a financial advisor and, fin and, and planner. And I help business owners and families bring their dreams and goals to life by helping them develop a financial plan that will align those dreams and goals with their, with their finances. Um, we all have some level of planning, but what we do, we bring everything as a center approach, uh, developing a plan that is unique uh, with personalized steps that will take you further than you've ever been before, uh, making sure that you are planning for the future while living for today, um, with everything that has to do with financial security, education planning, and retirement. We are more than glad to help you um, achieve those dreams and goals in a, in, a, in a most efficient way. And next on deck is Wendy. Good morning, everyone. I'm Wendy Krishnicki. I'm an independent consultant with Pamper Chef. I am your go-to kitchen guru for all of your cooking challenges. Um, as Tracy talked about before, nutrition is so important. And the best way to know what you are eating is to prepare it yourself. So I have lots of kitchen tools, recipes, and inspiration, tips and tricks to help you do that and to actually make it easy and less intimidating for you. Um, also so important to bring families around the table to reconnect at the end of the day. 
Wendy Kushnicki, independent consultant with Pamper Chef. Oh, next up is Tim. Sorry, Tim. That's okay. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Tim Stollery. I'm a videographer, editor, shooter. I've won a couple Emmy Awards uh, in my 35 plus years. Um, I'm passionate about telling stories with video and deep research and audio and even still pictures and graphics. Um, if you know anyone who thinks they might want uh, to do a video, uh, tell them to give me a shout and uh, we'll talk about it. Uh, I did a video for one of our folks on here, which I have to finish, by the way, Rachel. And so she, um, uh, we're at the uh, rough cut stage, but we're finishing it up and she was very happy. On deck is Sue. Sue wasn't able to call in today, so uh, Lisa isn't here. Don isn't here. Richard. I'm Rich Diacont. I am a benefits consultant, primarily with worksite benefits. I represent AFLAC. Um, when something happens to a family and someone is facing a health challenge, uh, it's not only a physical and mental battle, but it can also become a financial battle. Uh, we have to deal with co-pays. We have to deal with deductibles. We have to deal with co-insurance. But we also still have those daily living expenses, which can very quickly add up and become a medical expense when we're faced with something. AFLAC's plans help folks with those out-of-pocket costs. Uh, and my goal is to meet with folks, uh, small businesses, employees, uh, individuals to go over their needs and make sure that they have that coverage so that those things that I mentioned don't become a financially related issue when we have a health event. And next is Lisa. Well, Lisa isn't here today. Uh, and then we have relaxed benefits. Um, would you like to go ahead, Candido, and talk about it? Of course. Uh, yeah, thank you, Venice. Um, Relax Benefits is um, it's a it's a preferred platform, and that offers customized employee solutions, uh, which not only help your business uh, bottom line by taking uh, taking advantage of uh, tax credits and 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 deductions, and letting you keep more for you make, but also that nurture employee loyalty and retention. Uh, Relax Benefits is the right platform for uh, you know for companies who wants to foster employment engagement, loyalty, satisfaction, while also increasing productivity and, um, and, and, and offer more to their employees. Excellent. Uh, we don't have any guests today. So to wrap it all up, we have Project Scholarship. I invite you to go out to uh, Project Scholarship is a 501c3 nonprofit organization that is um, uh, heavily supported by relaxed teams. Go out to projectscholarship.org. Check it out. What the goal is, is to help students gain real world experience and go from classroom to um, from classroom to career with less debt. Uh, I guess the best way to sum it up is relax, uh, Project Scholarship gives students projects where they're invited to fail. Uh, give them a chance where um, it's okay to fail and they can learn a ton in the process. There aren't many jobs that you're ever going to get where they're going to be happy with failure. Uh, we allow that to happen at Project Scholarship. And in the end, the students will learn a ton. And with that, that is the end of, that is the end of um, our, our run through for today. We invite everyone, come on out, check us out, Relax Teams, relaxteams.com, CNJ. Feel free to visit anytime um, and check out our website, visit the uh, profile pages of our individuals and any way um, that they can help. They'll be glad to help you along the way. And with that, that's another week. Have a great week.